Here it is. This is Jehara fishing, hunting, and archery. You get ammo and stuff. Don't forget to wear your mask. Put on my mask. Let's see what's happening in here. What's up? All the sexy people in the house. Alright, let's see what's left. Yeah. They bought them all. Uh, yeah. Got some good goods right there. Okay, Crystal Minnow. Here we is. This is the bad boy right here. This one. Floating. Boom, floating. Five and one four, floating. That's the guy. That's the Joan. We'll grab two of these guys. Mm -hmm. Look at that. This one can too. But yeah, that's the one. I'm gonna grab that. Ten thousand different lures you can use. Get out. Oh yeah, this is all we came for today. Upgrade treble hooks. All the people in that aisle. Okay, I'm gonna walk down here. I'm gonna get all these CBP rigs over here. And then you can buy these things to make the fly lures. So these are every color you can imagine. Some upgrade in the hooks. Use this kind. These are pretty good. Eight bucks for the Yamashita double hook. I'm gonna put that on this guy. This is gonna be this is gonna be the good goods right here. Number five. Yeah, you. Yeah, right there. Let's see the let's see the damage on this. 47 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Catching the big one is priceless. <laughs> yeah, you. Give everybody a shot. <laughs> Give him a shot. <laughs> All right. I got I got my good goods right here. We're gonna go put these hooks on when we get to the shop. We're gonna see what these eggs produce. You guys know what's up already. But yeah, that was Jehara. Good folks, support local, like I said. Always support local. Go fishing, you know what I'm saying? Love one another. That's what it's all about, you know what I'm saying? So, we're gonna wrap this thing up and then we're gonna put this in the ocean and see what happens. $47 for two lures, you see? That's why you don't wanna lose these lures. It's about $25 a piece when you get done. Yeah, you. All right, so here we are back at the shop. And I'm gonna put these guys on, this thing. Look at this thing, beautiful. She's ready to destroy. Okay, so. Like a lot of you guys know from other videos, I don't like stock hooks, so. I'm gonna take this off and put this guy in the back. So first thing we're gonna have to do is take off the star hook right here. Okay, boom. That one's gone. Now this one's gonna go on like this, downways. The best way is to go like that. And then you pull them apart like you. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> this is 
going to destroy, man. Look at this. It's like an Opelu. See that? That's going to destroy. So, we went from your basic star hook to the beefy Japan hooks. Look at that. Look at the difference. So, there you go. This is the upgrade in the Yozuri Crystal Minnow with the double Japan hooks. Guarantee not to scratch your lure because it cannot. And guarantee to hold this thing way better. So, now that these hooks, you see the difference in the girth? Now, because these are a little bit bigger than this, you're going to have to button down the drag just a little bit more. So, when something grabs this, this thing sinks in and it's not going to come off. So, there you go. That's the upgrade with the Yozuri Crystal Minnow from your regular trailer uh, triple um, star hook to your double Japan hooks. We're going to take this in the water. We're going to sample it out. I want to let you guys show you guys the whole process of from the store to the dinner plate. So, there you go. I gotta do this one now to match this. So you can see the difference already on the dynamics of why we upgrade the hooks. So, this, no problem. This will work. This will work, but if you look real good, this is a small little hook. This is something you would use for like a papillo. You know, if it was just a single one. Like you would use this with a curly tail or something, a grub. But now that we upgraded to this, watch out. All right, let's get it. So, there you go. That's the new setup. Five and one quarter crystal minnow with the upgraded double Japan hooks. Let's see how this bad boy swims. Beautiful. This thing's gonna get it. Beautiful day. Look at that. There you go. You see that? That's the lures working. They're working hard. This side also. See that? We're rocking over here. So both sides, you got two lures just fluttering away, working hard. You don't have to do anything. Look at that. That's why I like crystal minnows. Look at that. Hard at work. Come on, baby, get that. All right, we're currently at 243 feet. Going about six and a half knots. Each not free, all the rumors of how free and the way that you sit in. Oh, birds. Hanapa, we hooked up. Bring that in, big boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is what you wanted, eh? Ripping, ripping, he's ripping. Oh. 
Take your time, just hold on. I gotta, I gotta pick mine in. Time. Right on. Okay, do you make breakfast for us? Look at that spam and egg with the burikake rice. It's like when giant musubi. What's up? Oh, hanaba. Alright, I think. I think it's screaming more better than that that kava kava. Twenty four feet of water. There we're hooked up in 24 feet of water. Look how murky. I can't even see the bottom. It looks like something pretty serious, but I don't know. It was that Musu B plate, bro. <laughs> it was that Musu B plate. Yeah. So yeah, we're 24 feet of water. 
right right here by the natatorium something just grabbed at you as booty Freaking Papano. What's up? Leg one back. Give me that. You gotta grab one of the things that goes after you. Rip that thing, bad boy. No, 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 Got you, bro. Got you. Yeah. What's up? Beautiful. Eee, look at that smile. Yeah. <laughs> like Christmas morning. Gee. that all of a sudden the water just cleared up yeah you let's get it done all right where were we <laughs> so where was Can I get I? back to eating now yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Alright, so we're heading out towards the ledge right here. You can see this is where it drops off into the down deeper. So this is like a step right here. So we're gonna run to this ledge. And we're gonna go right along the inside. There are the, on the ledge of the ledge. Right, right by the drop off. Let's we'll see if we can pick up. Yeah, you. Open up.
All right, so we did a couple of passes. Nothing grabbed it, so we're gonna head in. We got fish to cut, you know what I'm saying? Let's do this. again all right you've seen these guys this is a win right there plus plus what's up look at that
All right, everybody. Well, this is the best part of the show. We're gonna, I'm gonna get to sample this spicy kava kava roll and all this kagami salad right here. Look at that. My goodness. With some citrus on top, but let's not waste time. So the first one I'm gonna try is this spicy kava kava roll. Look at that. You see? Amazing. Amazing. That fresh rice cool down with that spicy kava kava and the fresh cucumber in it. Awesome. Mmm. Wow. Just try this guy out. All right. So this thing's got that poppy seed dressing. There's lemon wedges over here. Get that, that fresh ulua with that furikake on top. Look at that. Mmm. With that fresh, that fresh salad. Awesome. Mm. That white fish, so flaky. Not too much flavor at all. With that furikake on top and the fresh greens. Oh my goodness. That is so awesome. Anyway, I want to thank all, be, all you guys for coming aboard. You guys like the content. You guys know what to do. Give me a thumbs up so I can keep making more recipe, recipe videos. That spicy tuna roll. Off the chain, bro. So, I want to make a video on uh, how to make that spicy tuna sauce. But it's basically the three ingredients to put it together. That's it. Sor sriracha, mayo, and... Uh, sesame oil but man but like i always tell you guys number one support local number two try to eat fresh fish and number three most most important love one another yeah you mm. Ha, 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 ha.